clearly trade has impacted uh, energy prices a, a bit, particularly things like China talking uh, LNG uh, tariffs and, and the like. But uh, what about this week's developments? Mexico, positive developments. Canada, still uncertain. Does that impact oil prices? Well, a little bit. I'm all, not a little bit, Wolf. Well, I'll tell you that, uh, you know, last month, basically, Canada was our largest source of foreign crude oil, 3.5 million barrels a day. Uh, Mexico about almost a million barrels a day, so very much a part of the equation. Crude oil itself hasn't been brought up all that much, uh, but certainly internationally the LNG uh, picture has. But to the extent this was to get nasty, uh, there's no doubt in my mind that uh, you know Canada would see the crude oil uh, element as a big one. We also export some crude oil to Canada ourselves, so there's a two-way street there, uh, partly for their Newfoundland refinery on the coast. Uh, our West Coast refiners, big markets uh, for Canada. Not to say that they would use oil necessarily as a weapon, but when things start to get ugly, you know, everything's sort of uh, on the table and in the mix. And certainly nobody likes uh, this uh, setup in terms of the disruption uh, to the economic demand outlook, which is what starts to impact commodities and crude oil in particular. But we're not really seeing a big move on that front. I mean, Brent is higher right now, John. Don't you think if, if there was some worry about a real breakdown in talks or a real breakdown in deal, there would be all sorts of macroeconomic implications that you would see show up in the price of oil? Yeah, no doubt. And I, th I think the, um, the, the agreement with Mexico shows that there's a deal to be had. There's really no two ways about it. Look, we've seen this a ton of times before. Think about Greece. Think about the debt ceiling debates. You know, I, I like to kid around that the, that the politicians like to take us on a very uncomfortable ride up to the precipice, maybe tip the car over a little bit, let us all get a big look over the cliff at how ugly it could get, and then pull us back at the very last minute. There are other headlines out there, by the way, that these talks will resume between the U.S. and Canada on Wednesday. So uh, that's yeah. another factor here.